Gotta, he got to get them guys back. I ain't saying he got to hire back an old championship staff and then like that. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying anything wrong with the coaching staff that he has now. I ain't necessarily saying that. Probably one coach, that Bill O'Brien, I, I, I probably – be probably the least of my favorite. You feel me? But I like Pete Golden. I've been around Pete Golden. Pete Golden is a relatable. Uh -oh. Hey, you need to start packaging that up. You need to start packaging that up and selling it. Whatever that is that made you say that, man, you crazy. <laughs> Pete Golden is a player's coach, dog. I, I sat there and heard and watched him. I had a conversation with him, but I also watched him communicate with other players and with former players. Like like when I was talking when I, when I seen him when I first seen him really interact with former players. Was with um Ruben Foster. I just sat here and watched this man communicate and talk about three different things in a span of fifteen minutes, and he was locked in on it. So why it does it suck so bad as a coach in game situations? Now, hey, hey, look, hey, look. That's on. That's almost so Coach Saban than it is bit than it is than it is Pete Golden, because at the end of the day, Coach Saban don't don't call the plays, but he makes all the adjustments. If he want them, if he want them to stop doing something. He obviously trusts you think you think Coach Saban gonna sit there and allow something that he noticed not work not work. Well, 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 Christian, no way. well, Christian, I'll be honest with you. You know, I always relate it to, to, to the multiple child syndrome in the house. When that parent has that first kid and that second kid, they're a lot more uh, stern and strategic in how they raise those kids, opposed to as they get older and that last kid they come out, they just give him free damn run to go do whatever the hell he wanna go do. Coasting got old, man. He ain't as he ain't as rigid as he used to be, bro. So I think, again, I think he giving Pete way more freedom than he would have gave any coach in the past. <laughs>